What is up guys, Back at Me Speed coming at you. Super special episode for you today. We are going to be taking the Hats On Invader out to 75 yards. Now, just like anything that I haven't tested, guys, I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna go, but you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for the entire thing and see exactly what kind of results we get here with the Hats On Invader in 22 caliber with the Gamma Whisper pellets at 75 yards. Let's get right into it, guys. What is up guys, Mac B Speed coming at you. You guys have been absolutely loving the Hats On Invader Auto 22 caliber reviews I've been giving you this last week. One of the things that somebody said constructive criticism wise in the comments section in one of the videos was that I didn't give the Gamma Whispers a fair chance. Now honestly, they were extremely expensive, they produced less energy, but the accuracy was notable. So I figured the best thing to go ahead and do was to give them a second lease on life at 75 and potentially 100 yards, depending on how they do at the first target range. I think a lot of you guys are really interested to see as well what the Hats On Invader does at distance, considering the fact that in my own personal opinion, this is a direct contender with the Marauder Semi-Auto. Won't waste too much time talking about it, guys. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, we got our Gamma Whispers loaded up to go ahead and defy the haters that these are not worth the hefty price tag that they come with. We got that eye in the sky with the drone out there watching our target. We are ready to rock and roll, guys. Let's get this group downrange and see what these Gamma pellets are really made of in the Invader. As you can hear, the drone is screaming at me right now, so let's get after it. Hello. All right, guys, we went ahead and did a ninja battery swap on the drone, and we we're gonna get right back after it with the invader group. Let's get right back into this. Let's finish off the mag, guys, and see what we end up with. All right, that's the end of the mag, guys. I don't feel like that was a fair representation. Let's throw this other mag in the breach and keep on rolling. In addition, guys, I don't think I'm really shooting fast enough for a semi-automatic PCP rifle. Let's pick the pace up a little bit. I just had a uh, failure to fire. That's a mag, gentlemen. That's just how quick it goes in semi-auto. Let's bring the drone back, grab the board, and see exactly how we did with those two mags. All right, guys. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that longer range shooting with the Hats On Invader at 75 yards. This is the target that we had down there, guys. And as you can kind of see, it was grouping over here to the left-hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine shots pretty much all in the same half of the board. I definitely think that this speaks to, like I said in previous videos, my age is showing here, gentlemen. And a three by nine by 40 is just not enough glass to be able to get me on target with a two inch circle at 75 yards. Now I know that sounds very pitiful, but I am much older than my youthful looks belie. And typically I start having success in the four through 16 zoom range, not the three by nine. Interesting to note, look at this line of shots, Look at the lack of pass through. That's one thing that you're gonna definitely wanna take away from the Invader review, is that at 75 yards on three quarter inch pine with medium to heavy pellets, you will not be passing through three quarter inch ply, which means more than likely you're getting to the effective range as far as hunting is concerned on small to medium game. Now as an air gun hunter, the last thing that you wanna have to do is follow a blood trail and chase down a wounded or maimed animal in the field. You really want that knock it over, lay down and die kind of power to be dispensed 
every single time for that good, clean, humane kill that we're all looking for. One of the key aspects to making sure that you get that clean knockdown every single time is knowing your rifle's effective range, guys. I truly believe that the Hatson Invader is running out of steam somewhere between 75 and 80 yards, as proven by this test. Working at that 30 to 34 foot-pounds level, you probably just don't have the raw energy needed to dispatch pests at that range unless they were very small, like chipmunks, ground squirrels, what have you. All right, I think it's a great place to end the video, guys, but if you've liked this long-range shooting with the Invader, give this video a thumbs up. You wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the channel as well as when new videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.